What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video we're going to learn how to easily deploy Python scripts and Python applications for free using Railway. So let us get right into it. Alright, so most of you guys have probably heard that Heroku is removing their free plan, which means that it's no longer a viable option for freely and easily deploying or hosting your applications um, on the web. And because of that, people are looking for alternatives. A lot of tutorials out there are based on Heroku for free deployment, including one of my videos. I have a video on how to deploy a Discord Python bot for free, which will no longer be possible in a couple of months or weeks. I'm not sure when they remove the plan exactly. Um, it will no longer be possible because they removed the free plan. So people who want to deploy their hobby projects for free to try out certain things uh, will no longer be able to use Heroku, which is why, as I said, people are looking for alternatives. And one such alternative is Railway, uh, which is a pretty nice platform. And by the way, they're not paying me to do this video. I do it because I find it interesting. Um, and essentially, it's quite easy to use. So all you have to do is you have to go to railway.app and you have to create an account. You do this if you're not logged in by clicking on login and then on sign up. And then they send you an email, uh, then you click on the email and then you're logged in. And every time you log in, uh, every time you want to log in, you log in via the email again. Um, and what you get there is you get two dollars, which means 200 hours of um, hosting or of running of runtime, essentially. Uh, for free and if you confirm your account with uh, a github account that is old enough or with a credit card you get 500 hours so five dollars worth of computation of runtime um, and in this video i'm going to show you how you can easily set up a project we're going to do just a simple script that prints hello world a couple of times so that we can see it's running somewhere else not on my computer and this can be used for discord bots this can be used for um, all sorts of applications, um, as long as you're not violating the terms of service. So for example, stuff like Bitcoin miners and, and all that is not allowed. But um, yeah, you can host whatever you want on there as long as it fits, uh, as long as it aligns with the terms of condition. Um, and for that, what we're going to do here is we're going to, once we're locked in, go to start a new project, and we're going to create an empty project down here. And inside of that project, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new service and we're going to create an empty service. You can see there are a lot of templates and databases and all that. Uh, we're not going to use any of that. But once you have this project, what you want to do next is you want to go to your command line and uh, you want to go to a directory that you're going to work in. So I'm going to go to... Um, oh, I missed a directory. I'm going to go to this one here. Um, and what you want to do is you want to use the node package manager. So NPM, if you don't have it, you need to install it uh, in order to install the railway CLI. So once you have NPM installed, if you don't know what NPM is and how to install it, uh, I would suggest you Google it because that's a pretty foundational tool that you're going to need uh, if you work with any node packages. Um, so you type NPM dash uh, or actually NPM I dash G then at railway slash CLI and this will install the railway CLI on your computer. I have it in this case already. Once you have it, what you do is you type railway login to connect to your account. This will happen via the browser. So the command line is going to try to log in via the browser. In this case, there you go. Success. You can close this page. Then if I go back to the terminal, you can see logged in as accounts neural um, And now I'm connected to my account. The next thing I need to do is I need to go to the directory that I want to code in. For this, I'm going to say make directory uh, and I'm going to just call this code. I'm going to go to the code directory and I'm going to um, create a simple file here. Let's say uh, I'm going to use notepad x in this directory. Actually, I think I can even specify a file name. Let's say main.py. I want to create it. There you go. And I'm going to just say import time. And then I'm going to say for placeholder in range 20. All I want to do is I want to print hello world. Oh man, I've never coded in the ordinary notepad. One, two, three, four. There you go. And I want to say time sleep. 
10. So every 10 seconds, we're going to print hello world. This is just some script that we're going to deploy here. And what we want to do now is we want to go here to the railway um, platform and we want to find our projects and we want to find the project ID. So in the project that we want to connect, we want to find the project ID and we're going to copy this project ID by clicking on this button. We're going to return to the terminal and we're going to say now railway link. Um, uh, sorry, <laughs> railway link, obviously, um, railway link project ID. This is what we're going to do. So this will then link the current directory that we're working in with the project that is um, created on railway. And we can, of course, also unlink. So we can just say railway unlink to not have this being linked anymore. Uh, but this doesn't make a lot of sense now. And all we need to do now, this is how simple it is. We didn't do anything but just create an account, log in, create it, uh, whatever we want to deploy. Uh, we linked to the project. All we need to do now to deploy is we need to say railway up. So railway up is essentially like git push or like deploy or whatever. This basically takes the file that we have and pushes it onto railway. And once it's on there, uh, once the process is done, it's running, essentially. And we can check that it's running by looking at the log files, you can see here deployment is life. And if I now go ahead and say railway logs, we will be able hopefully uh, to see Hello world, there you go. And railway logs gives you a life log. So I'm not doing anything right now. And every 10 seconds, we're going to see a hello world because this is a life log. So I'm seeing real time what's happening on the server. And it's not running on my computer, it's running on railway, which means that if this is a discord bot, I can just turn off my whole computer and this will be running in the cloud uh, on railway all the time. Of course, we only have 500 hours. So you need to take care of that. Um, but this is how you do that. And once you don't want to have it anymore, uh, once you want to delete the deployment, what you can do is you can say railway down, and everything is deleted, everything is removed, and you can do railway up again, if you want to delete, yes. Um, and this will stop the script, and this will also delete the script. So I can then also say unlink. I don't know if that's necessary. But that is essentially it. So you can see how simple that is, you go to railway, you create an account, you, um, you verify now to deploy, you need to verify your account, you cannot deploy, um, you cannot do railway up unless you have uh, validated your account or verified your account with a GitHub account, for example. But once you have done that, you have 500 hours and you have uh, the possibility to just take your Python script or Python application, or whatever, to push it on there with a simple railway up and then it's running. It's very, very simple, it's free. Um, and it's definitely a very nice alternative to Heroku, um, since they removed their free plan. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and